A black hole is a celestial whirlpool of gravitational death. Things can go in, but they can't get out. But it turns out that one of the most powerful things in the universe could have a mysterious twin. A white hole. Yeah, this beast isn't exactly like a black hole. Black holes are incredibly dense objects that squeeze all the matter they ingest into an infinitely small point at their center. A singularity. Most black holes are remnants of massive, collapsed stars, so they have a lot of mass condensed into that point. And a lot of mass means a lot of gravity. Every black hole has an event horizon. This is the boundary surrounding them that marks the point of no return. To escape from the event horizon, you'd need to be able to travel faster than the speed of light. White holes are the opposite. In the same way that nothing can leave a black hole, nothing can enter a white one. That's why scientists theorize that white holes might be the other side of a black hole. Rather than consuming matter, a white hole constantly ejects it into the universe. If not back into our universe, it could be a gateway to another. Now, while we've observed and even captured an image of a black hole, We've never seen a trace of one of its white twins, but scientists may have finally found the evidence they've been looking for. Mysterious gamma rays showing up where they shouldn't be. Gamma ray bursts are short-lived bursts of gamma ray light that last from a fraction of a second to a few minutes. And in this short time, they eject as much energy as our sun does over its entire lifetime. Gamma ray bursts are the most energetic events in the universe. They could be hundreds of times brighter than a supernova. And they happen when a black hole is born. But scientists found one very unusual gamma ray burst. It seemed to appear out of nowhere, only to collapse on itself very quickly. And even though it lasted about 100 seconds, it behaved like a much shorter burst. This particular gamma ray burst, called GRB 060614, didn't have the usual afterglow that comes from a black hole. And that's why scientists think this might be the proof we needed of a white hole. So it's time to check it out firsthand. Hey, before you jump into one of the most puzzling objects in the universe, let me thank XCAD for partnering with us on this episode. You know what's better than watching my videos? Well, making money while you're at it. With XCAD, you can do just that. This free app lets you earn tokens by watching my content. All you need to do is hit that link below, download XCAD, and sign in with your email. Make sure to watch my videos to earn tokens. And you can watch other creators too. Once you have enough tokens, you can swap them for cash or cool perks like personalized video messages, social media shoutouts, or even a FaceTime call. Or if you just want to earn while watching, well, you can upgrade and get an XCAD nerd, which multiplies your earning potential. Don't wait. Download from the link in the description, press play from the main menu, and start making money now. This trip to the white hole is going to be costly. If you traveled across the universe to catch a glimpse of this theoretical white hole, what you'd find would look like a black hole. A dark emptiness, a ring of dust and gas separated by an event horizon. But you wouldn't slide into the center of the singularity. No, instead, things would get rough. Your spaceship would be blasted by intense gamma rays, destroying it and everything inside. Now, even if you could survive that with the help of super advanced gamma protective technology that doesn't exist yet, you'd still never be able to enter the event horizon of this white hole. It would be like immense air resistance back here on Earth. The ejected radiation would constantly slow you down. Add to that the challenge of moving through space-time that's being warped around you, and it would almost be like you were traveling uphill with an extreme wind blowing you away. 
you'd need more energy to overcome this resistance and push forward. And the closer to the white hole you get, the more energy you'd require. There would come a point where you'd need more energy than there is in the entire universe. But there might be another way in. If a white hole truly is the backside of a black hole, then traveling into its singularity would be like going through a black hole in reverse. But now, not only would you be competing against the powerful forces of gamma radiation, but you'd also need to overcome the impossibly powerful forces of gravity working against you. Oh, and you'd need to travel faster than the speed of light. Of course, that's impossible. Nothing can travel faster than light, but you might be able to get to your destination by jumping into a black hole first. Scientists think that there might be a wormhole connecting the white hole to its black hole companion. This could be your only way in. Except this passage would be extremely unstable. The entire thing could collapse unpredictably at any moment. I doubt you'd want to be inside when that goes down. Don't say I didn't warn you. If you were brave enough to jump into a black hole, well, you'd have to pass its event horizon. Once you were inside, you'd see another energetic burst of bright light. After this, the black hole would seem to expand all around you, surrounded by a ring of light. You'd be feeling pretty disoriented by now, and it might almost appear as if you were free-falling back through the black hole. This wouldn't be the case. This is just an optical illusion known as relativistic beaming. And of course, this wouldn't be the only extreme effect you'd experience. You'd still need to do the impossible and somehow break the cosmic speed record. Traveling faster than the speed of light, you'd be overcoming the most extreme forces of gravity pulling at you from behind. And because of that, your entire body would be stretched out very thin. This would be reverse spaghettification. And finally, the disorienting effects of the relativistic beaming would make it appear to shrink ahead of you like you're getting further and further away. But eventually, you'd overcome all that gravity and blast your way out of the event horizon. And now, you'd be spewed out the other side of the black hole into a completely different part of our universe. Or maybe not even in our universe at all. Yeah, come on, you just traveled through a black hole and then a white hole. Anything's possible. 13.8 billion years ago, all the matter and radiation that makes up our universe emerged out of a singularity. Maybe you just traveled through the black hole that created our universe. It sounds like you've got another epic journey of discovery ahead of you. But it might not be as easy as you think. It's possible you've entered a universe with entirely different laws of physics than the ones we know of. You might be better off checking out something else that scientists have discovered. Like this terrifying planet that looks like Earth. But that's a story for another What If. <laughs>